Hey there gamers, how's it going? Welcome to another Dead Rising 4 playthrough. I'm Tim and I've got to find the intelligence lockup. This is the stealing from Obscurus mission. And uh, yeah, if you're not quite up to here, check out my last video. Have a nice day. Screw you, door! Alright, looks like we've got to go downstairs. Smell zombies. We gotta clear them out before we can do any serious looking. Uh, probably gonna have to take out a few zombies. Oh, I'm bone! Here I come. Probably should find myself a better weapon. Grenade. Let's shoot him. Nice jump, dude. Alright, gotta have some health quick. No, I really don't like this little axe. It's pretty shitty. Oh, I can make something. Dynamite, yeah, baby. Ha! <laughs> Let's some health. Defeat the zombies, I must have missed one. Oh, there's one I think walking into a wall. Yeah. Oh, I want to use one of his weapons. I want to use it. Oh, come on. Got him. All right, need to find the right. intelligence lockup. Now where's this intel lockup? God damn! There must be thousands of files here. All right, looks like I need to pull out my camera once again. Blue detected. Might have to use my night vision. So I just need my normal vision. Here we go. One thing down. There we go. Barnaby's right. missing computer Not stuff. Not time to read all of Can these, so that's going to be a bunch Nova of files. Six. What is that? Alternate vision mode required. Got it. There we go. The missing files all stamped November 25th. Cracked as Barnaby. Right, looks like it's over here somewhere. Here we go. Oh, this is part of the treatment chamber I saw in Barnaby's lab. The tag has coordinates. Investigation complete. So they raided Barnaby's lab on November 25th. That'll be the date I need to find the right info. Alright, find the recon footage. On this, what is this? Hard drives. Alright, let's see. November. Yes! Oh, yes! You are one sexy little surveillance record. I'm gonna take you to a computer so hard. Alright, we need to watch the footage. Now, 
let's see. Here we go, footage time. Oh, yeah. It's a mousey. Hey there, little guy. How you doing? Oh, he's not very nice. Oh, damn. <laughs> Guess you ought to be more careful next time. What happened? He got my way. Power coming on. All right. Hanson, perimeter. Copy. Vargas. Inventory. Pick it, tag it, cat it. Roger that. We'll call it. Get your head out of your ass. Power and safety. I don't want any accidents. Already on. It. Seizure team is inbound. They're going to be here within the hour. I want this place mapped out. You hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. The body was cremated at 1500 hours by seventh failure. And then. <laughs> September 19th, 2006. Dr. Russell Barnaby. This is likely my final progress report. There's been an outbreak in the Willamette Mall. I didn't cause it. I don't know who did it. I don't even know how it's possible. Entertainment League, maybe? I just... I don't know. The experiment is incomplete. Conservatively, it needs another 50 years research. All the data is there, uploaded into my Good. primary storage. That's what we're talking about. Let's get it. Perhaps some smart young scientist can make use of it. Downloading. The treatment itself remains locked at 62% effectiveness. It represents the pure truth of my creation. Oh, there? On death, they call it. <laughs> the world has known no greater irony. Take away the decay, the bestial wrath, the failure of the mind. Ask yourself, what remains? A zombie is just a man who never tires. Oh, wow, looks like it might be never boss sickens, time. Never ages. Indeed, zombies are the key to human immortality. And yet, since the livestock angle didn't pan out, oh, these Pentagon idiots remain fixated on weaponizing the plague. Proof of that, I, too, have put in a safe place. Well, I've been summoned by an unknown agent, likely to my death. The voice was familiar. Perhaps an employee or a citizen of Santa Cabeza. If so, I must go prepared. If anyone survived that incident, and if they know my name and contact information, it is likely they blame me for what happened. Additionally, the infected population grows apace. If I was a sane man, I would stay below. But I must confess to an irrational desire to witness my handiwork. Should I become infected, I must return here and use the test chamber. A last ditch effort to save myself from the plague I created. So then, farewell. Let it be known that I fought to my last to protect life. What's yet, gonna happen? In so doing, cause untold death. <laughs> What's he shooting at? What the hell is going on? Get out of there! Move it! Move! Shut the door, dude. Crazy zombie dudes.
going to shut the door out of the door for us, will you? So I can get the water What the hell? Checkpoint Attention. reached. Montana, you don't scare me. I know who started the outbreak. It was Calder, one of your soldiers. I gotta get the hell out of here. What have we here? Ah, ah, still warm. Right, so I got the key card off that dude, so I could get out of there. Frank, you there? What's going on? Uh, a little busy, but the Cliff Snokes are. That Calder asshole's got our big scoop, and Fontana's trying to murder me. Wait, what? Trapped! Monster asshole! Fontana, talk later! <sighs> Alright, so we just need to escape the base, I think. Is that it? I think we escaped. I don't recall authorizing your press pass. Uh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to finish Barnaby's research. Parlay zombieism into some kind of immortality treatment. You're trying to make a mint off a bunch of aging millionaires. That was the plan, but I guess immortality isn't as profitable as cheap labor. What? At first... The client just wanted to exploit Dr. Barnaby's research, but then these things, these smart zombies, started showing up and the mission changed. Pacify, domesticate, and train. You plan to make soldiers, aren't you? You're gonna make some kind of undead army. You're out of your mind. You think anyone's gonna set these things loose with a gun? No. No, the plan was coffee farmers. Really? Coffee farmers? Oh, well, there is a lot of money in coffee. Or manufacturing, or meatpacking, or, or fucking fruit, I don't know. Peanuts. Peanuts are hard to harvest, just a thought. Cheap, unskilled labor exported to whoever's buying. It's all about this with these guys. Yeah, well, who are these guys? You are, Frank. Assuming you pay your taxes. Alright, so we're going to take out Fontana. I'm going to just try and shoot her a bit first. Just roll around and shoot back her off. If she gets close, she'll shoot you with a uh, gas grenade. So it's a good idea to one, run around and grab uh, a few weapons and a few health packs and stuff if you need them. Um, and yeah, just try and stay away from her. If she gets close, she does a fair bit of damage. The bullets don't hurt half as much. Oh, okay, she's going to try and kind of get me. I guess my special move on there. Oh, my special move isn't working. Oh, okay, she's got that crazy shit again. Shit, look at that, have a health. I'm quite trying to find some more. Uh, I'm sure there's an energy drink or something around here. Look at that. Knife. There we go, there's a health. I'll keep that. And where is Fontana? I see you. Gonna try and jump out of the way of those freaking Stun grenades or whatever trick she's using on me. I'm finding out this thing might be a handy thing to do. I need to find some more guns though now. Yeah, yeah, yeah more health. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That anyway, it's gonna be right near if we can't stop him. Oh, she's gone. Pretty self sacrificing for a mercenary. Wolves take care of you. Never use a grenade at a gunfight. Not close range anyway. Alrighty, that's case four. Done and Obscurus dusted, y'all. Thanks for watching. I'll be so back Hammond more soon. Ooh, an achievement. Yeah, buddy, 35. Yeah, y'all. Cool. Alright, okay. catch you later. Bye.